While working on this render, I didn't know how to duplicate this ceiling lamp, pot light and uh, boolean cutter on all these points on the ceiling while keeping everything easily editable. The solution is geometry nodes and uh, let's, uh, let's take a look. So I have a plane for a ceiling, another plane which, uh, where, I, where I will add a few look cuts for the vertices where to place the lamp. You can't use the same as before because then you will have the, the lamps in the in the outer corners as well, so you need another one. Uh, then I model a lamp out of a very simple cylinder, another cylinder to be used as a boolean and a spotlight, moved it all in a new collection and move all out of the way. And let's uh, start with the boolean on of the cutter on these points. Uh, to do that I'm going to select the plane. And after selection, I'm going to Geometry Nodes, I'm going to press New. I'm going to need to the Shift A Object Info. I'm going to need the cutter, so cutter there. Shift A Object Info. I'm also going to need the points. So now I have the points and the cutter. Shift A instance, let's say it's instance on points. I'm not sure about the other one, but I think I tried and it didn't work. So I'm going to need the geometry as instances where on these points and let's put them right. To make the boolean, I'm going to add shift A mesh boolean and I'm going to put it this here and the geomet the grouping for geometry is the plane so in the top part and if I put it here you will see that the, the boolean shows up but it's not working right on all of them and as you know blender with booleans is a bit um, finicky here and there so the solution is usually playing with with the scale, with the rotation a bit, mm, doesn't work with the, okay, with the scale then, or move it in the, uh, here move it a bit up or down and see what happens, but that is apparently did the, did the trick. Now to put the lights here, the rest of the, of that collection I'm going to need, instead of Object info, since it's a collection, collection info. Select the lamp and I'm going to duplicate this with Shift D. So these are going to be the instances and the points are going to be the same points as before. So it's going to be something like this. And it's not showing because we need join geometry to show both this so you see that it still works and the lamp okay now we have this problem because we moved it before and i knew that it's going to happen because it happened on the render and it drove me crazy so i'm going to add and on the let's say on the lamp shift s cursor to selected to put it there uh, shift A, empty, plane axis. Now I'm going to select this spot and the lamp and the empty. Make sure that the empty is the different kind of orange tone, so it's the last one selected. And parent the two other to the, to the empty. Lamp empty. So now if we go, if we select the empty and we go to object, to collections, set offset from cursor. Now it's going to correct itself and appear on the on the right place. And you see that it also shows the cutter because it's in it's in the same collection, and we are going we are instancing the collection here. So if you don't want it there, you can move it out of the collection, and it's not uh, going to to show there. Oh, okay. Because the scale when we duplicated it. We we got this and the scale was wrong, so put it at one, and now it's going to be all right. 
And let's see what's uh, happening here. Um, apparently, we need to make the cutter a bit bigger. If you don't want to cut it here, you could do that with 1.1 here, 1.1 there. And now it's going to be larger, so you see that it has some space. So you don't need to actually resize the cutter itself. And why is it not up? Well, it's not up because uh, this, you see, it's... Um, let me hide it. It's in the middle here. So to make it not in the middle, see the, the little orange dot there? I'm going to... That's the origin of this object. I'm going in edit mode with two. Select this, uh, this edge. Shift S, cursor to selected. Tab to get out of edit mode. Origin, uh, right click set origin. Origin to 3D cursor. And now... It's still not there. Now let's go back to the empty. Shift S, cursor to selected. Select the, the lamp. Since now the reference point of the lamp is this orange dot and we want to move it up. Uh, Shift S, selection to cursor. Now, hopefully, it works nice. Yes, it does. Okay, so that's... Uh, that's in essence what we wanted. If you are going to move this, I think yes, indeed it's going to move and you are going to have to repeat the 3D cursor thing. Now one little detail here is if you select the points and you could also hide them because it's it's already in the geometry node here. It doesn't, it's not needed. If you move it, it's not going to move the lamps because in the geometry node here, this is set to, where is it, cutter, uh, points, this is set to original, but if we put relative, now it's going to put it uh, on on where the actual object is, but I want to keep them on the original place. Now, if you want to move this or change this, if you scale it, for example, on the x-axis, 0.5, you see that it's not moving the, the objects because the scale is... In the end panel, the scale is here wrong, so Control A, scale, and now they are moved. And uh, the same for every time you change, Control A, scale. You could also, for example, remove this or grab it and move it uh, wherever you want or remove it. And it's going to get rid of it. And all, uh, all that uh, cool stuff. So this opens uh, a lot of uh, possibilities. And I hope this was useful to you in some way. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.